because from this point forth, we ride. This is me now. Can I get through this gate? Gosh, this is... This this could be impractical. This is much more difficult than I expected. We are through and, and off into the outside world. That's my base. Why did I build my base on such a high thing? Look at my... How was he meant to get up there? Oh, we're about to do a bit of a stunt. This is cool. Oh, look at that. <laughs> this is awesome. I've stum stumbled upon a, a carrot and a stick. What? Speedy Devil. He's a speedy number. Look at this guy move. He's way better than the old one. Okay, you're gonna make- Oh, oh. Oh, I see the problem. I see the problem. Can I feed you pork? Yeah, actually, feeding pork to a pig's probably a, a terrible idea. Okay, maybe for now, I will just- I will avoid the assault course. As actually, I think it's a form of assault, what I'm doing to these pigs. All I have to do is get back to my base, which is over there, safely. Is it me or is this guy slowed down? Is he slowing down? I, sw I swear we're going slower than walking pace at this point in time. This episode is going to take a very long time, isn't it? Come on, little guy. You can do it. We need to get there before night falls. I don't think we can get away from anything at this point in time. I have also learned that I can right-click with my carrot on a stick and it will speed him up. But it's using up basically all the durability of my carrot on a stick. And as we saw earlier, carrots aren't easy for me to come by. I got these carrots from a starter farm in the first village. It would take me about three hours to get there. Easy does it. Easy does it, and there we go. I would say that has been a success. I, I need it. If I don't, that is going to be incredibly upsetting. Let's roll out. And we have reached our first obstacle. Right, hop off, place boat, get pig in boat. This is the plan. This is the plan. Yes, good, good. Get in boat with pig. Cross body of water. I mean, come on now. This is the dream. We, we all have to admit this is the dream. I have to be very careful. Good. Good, good, good. This. You know what? This is the way to go. I am a, a tiny bit concerned that it is now dark. I, I feel like we could be in a, in a tiny bit of danger. And by that, I mean, I think we could be in quite a lot of danger. Yeah, I'm being shot. This, this definitely, this definitely doesn't make life easy. This does not make life easy. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm just going to- I'm gonna run away. A bed. A bed is definitely something that I should have brought. That is something that I didn't think of that I definitely should have brought. I have bravely dug myself into a hole. I'm going to wait until the morning. I'm sorry. I've kind of left you out there. I hope you're okay. One incredibly brave night later. We are back on the road. I can feel the wind going through the bars of my mustache. Oh, I've just stepped off the pig. It's the same amount of wind. It's just windy. We're not actually traveling that fast. I can see it. I can see the shopping district in the distance. We are almost there. And you know what? Viewing it from the ground level and at such a slow pace, it allows you to really take in the details. And this place is really cool looking. We're getting our first view of the button now and... Hmm. It's, uh... It hasn't gone down at all. That's very curious. Now, there are, there are two options here as to what may have happened. Option number one is that the redstone clock is so slow that the counter hasn't gone down at all. That is unlikely. Option number two is I, is I forgot to put the items into the redstone clock, which means this thing has been sat here doing nothing for the entire week. <laughs> which is very likely. The base. And by roll, I mean walk incredibly slowly. This, this was a silly idea, wasn't it? This was a really silly idea. Why did I ever think this was a good idea? I guess it's given me the opportunity to see the Minecraft world in a different perspective. For example, I never would have seen this tree if I had flown with an elytra. Look, it's a, it's a lovely tree. Nobody has ever acknowledged this tree before, and I think it is wonderful. There's also these stumps that people have left. They're not so wonderful, unless it was me that left them, in which case they're beautiful and decorative. We're almost there. I can see my base in the distance. Is that creeper catching up with me? I really hope that creeper isn't catching up with me, but it looks like the creeper is catching up with me. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I don't know what to do in this situation. Do I get off? Do I? I think I should... I should probably get off, right? Ah, I got off of the... Uh, I guess I should get another pig. Unnamed pig number four has got five hearts. Do all of them have five hearts or have I just got a buff pig? Regardless, this absolute unit of mobility device has arrived at my base and will be stored on this post. Seeing what stage the diamond button's at. I've given it quite a bit of time to do its thing since I set it up. So hopefully, 
by the time we get there, it's at a good stage. And that was not a joke about how slow this pig is, although it sounded a lot like a joke about how slow this pig is. But in all seriousness, on that topic, I am a little bit worried that it will have exploded by the time we get there. It's not really a joke if you're seriously concerned. Almost there, and we made it. And I never want to make that journey again.